Why does rubber show elasticity? Why does it retain its shape after removing the force? Can we even call it a solid? In this video, I'll explain why rubber shows these properties. There's one thing that all rubbers, natural and synthetic, have in common. All rubbers are stretchy. That's what makes it rubber, doesn't it? But just what makes rubber stretchy? The answer is entropy. What is entropy? Entropy is the measure of disorder. There's an important law of physics called the second law of thermodynamics, which says that in a natural process, a system will move from a state of order to a state of disorder. We've all seen this in everyday life. A room is easy to make messy, but hard to make clean. It's easy to crash a new car, but hard to repair it afterward. Entropy is also what makes rubber work. Think about a piece of rubber. Remember that rubber molecules are polymers. That is, they are shaped like very long chains. Looking at the molecular level, when the piece of rubber is just sitting there, we see that the molecules are just tangled up in a random mess. When the molecules are like this, we say they have a high degree of entropy. But when the rubber is stretched, the chains become aligned in one direction. When the chains are aligned, they are ordered. That is, they don't have as much entropy as they did before the rubber was stretched. As soon as one lets go of the stretched rubber, these chains are going to try to become disordered again because of second law of thermodynamics. This means they return to their original tangled mess. This makes the piece of rubber snap back to its original size and shape. You can observe this happening. That's right, you really can. One way to do this is to take a rubber band with your two hands and stretch it. While it's stretched, hold it to your face. It feels hot, doesn't it? Now release the tension on the rubber band so it can snap back to its original size. Now hold it to your face. How does it feel now? It should feel cold. There's a reason for all this. When you pull on the rubber band, the polymer molecules become aligned. Remember, when the chains align, something can happen. The chains can line up and pack together into extremely ordered arrangements called crystals. When molecules, not just rubber molecules but any molecules form crystals, they give off heat. This is why the rubber band feels hot when it's stretched. When you let go of the rubber band, the polymer molecules break out of those crystals. Whenever molecules break out of crystals, they absorb heat. That's why the rubber band feels cold when you let go of it. There's something else that makes rubber stretching. That is cross-linking. Most rubber objects are made of some kind of cross-linked rubber. Cross-linking is a way of chemically joining all the polymer chains of a piece of rubber into one giant molecule. You can see the difference between a polymer that is cross-linked and the one that isn't. In a piece of cross-linked rubber, the cross-links tie the polymer chains into one specific shape. This means the rubber will hold its shape better. Without cross-links, the rubber might deform after being stretched over and over again.